गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द कंप्यूटर क्लास स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट योर न्यू लेसन आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन सपोज योर टीचर हैज गिवन यू अ टास्क ऑफ मेकिंग लिस्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर मार्क्स ऑफ हाफ ईयरली एग्जाम्स ऑन कंप्यूटर नाउ जस्ट गिव a thought which software you will use to complete the task now some student can say that ma'am we can do it on ms word by creating a table on it but the best answer will be by using ms excel now have you ever heard the name ms excel Yes of course you all have done it in your previous class So Excel is a spreadsheets program that allows you to organize data complete calculations represent data in graphs and develop reports Excel allows you to organize data in rows and columns these rows and columns are collectively called as worksheet so this is how ms excel worksheet looks like having rows and columns important points to remember in excel workbook Excel file is called workbook like ms word uh, file is called document excel file is called workbook now what is workbook the workbook contains sheets called worksheets by default a workbook contains three worksheets each sheet has a name displayed on the sheet tab like here you can see the sheet tab sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 cell a cell is the intersection of each column and row in a worksheet a cell is a basic unit of a worksheet into which you enter your data now what is cell reference a cell is referred by to by its unique address or cell reference means the address of a particular cell for example cell reference c6 refers to the cell located at the intersection of column c and row 6 identify excel components so this is how the excel worksheet looks like so this is the formula bar column headings standard toolbar formatting toolbar these are the toolbars now this a1 is name box name box is the cell name or you can say cell address now these like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 are the row headings means the rows and this a b c d e f g are the columns and this black rectangle is actually active cell so these are all are the cells and this black rectangular uh, the the is called active cell so here the, here is the task pan and these are the sheet tabs sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 now microsoft excel consists of worksheets as we all know each worksheet contains columns and rows the columns 
are lettered from A to I V means A B C D E F likewise it goes on and on till I V means A A A B likewise I V the rows are numbered from 1 to 65536 here only you can see from 1 to 13 1 to 13 but it goes up to 16,000, Now the combination of columns and rows coordinates makes up a cell address. For example, the cell located in the upper left corner of the worksheet is cell A1. This. Why cell A? Why it is A1? Because column is A, A column. And row is 1, A1, meaning column A, row 1. Now, cell E10, this, why it is E10? Because the column is E and the row is 10th. You, as you can see, the row is 10th row. Is located under column E on row. You enter your data into the cells on the worksheet. And these are the columns A, B, C, D, E, F, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the rows. So, in, in the first, you can see A1 because A column and one row, first row. Likewise, B3, B3 is column B. And row 3. We always start with column and then the row. Now here this is E7. Why E7? Column is E and 7 is the row. Okay. Now entering data into a worksheet. To enter data, first make the cell in which you want to enter the data active by clicking on it. Enter the data, you can like text, formulas, dates, etc. Anything you can write on, um, uh, you can enter the data into the cell, active cell. Use the Alter plus Enter key combination to enter text on multiple lines within the same cell. And use Tab key, Arrow keys, or enter key to navigate among the cells from one cell to another. So this is how you can enter data into the worksheet. Suppose in column A1 it is written name, in column B it is written B1, it is written address, likewise uh, date is written in column C1 and likewise. Okay, and uh, this bold uh, cell is actually the active cell where you can just write down whatever you want to like. So when you press the enter key, cell A2 becomes the active cell. So before writing anything, you have to activate that particular cell where you are, where you want to write. Now, thank you. And uh, the next subtopics we'll do in the next class. So, till then, bye-bye. Have a good day.